Good afternoon. We're here in Santa Monica, Santa Monica because this is where we spoke to a consumer watchdog group. There haven't been any of those hoverboard explosions here in the city that we know of, although there have been some in the state. And according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, they told me they are investigating dozens of complaints nationwide. fiery hoverboard explosion in a Seattle area mall, the latest to cause concerns over the safety of the product. Not just a little fire, just exploded, like combusted the whole thing. The self-propelled two-wheel device made popular by celebrities like Justin Bieber is one of the top gifts this holiday season. Is it too late now to say sorry? But consumer watchdogs say buyer beware. This hoverboard explosion in Florida went viral. I came down the sidewalk, not even probably 100 feet, and it exploded. It said, boom. Jessica Horn said it was a similar scenario that caused her Louisiana home to burn down last month. I just seen sparks just sh like shoot like a firework. And before I had time to even say that it was on fire, the house was on fire. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says it's received more than 30 incident reports and is investigating hoverboard fires in at least six states, some that resulted in major injury. Who wants to buy, you know, a $500 Christmas gift for your son and have it burn down your house? In some incidents, the battery was blamed. Jamie Court says even more reason, don't cut corners if you choose to buy a hoverboard for your child. We have uh, knockoff models, cheaper uh, hoverboard scooters that are being made in Asia and East Asia and the batteries uh, and the battery parts are not up to snuff. Court urges consumers to look for a federal inspection sticker on the product, follow manufacturer guidelines and KTLA's own Rich DeMuro says only use a charger that comes with your product. When your hoverboard is done charging, remove it from the wall. You don't want to leave this thing plugged in overnight. That way you can minimize any potential for an issue or a fire. And there was an interesting report, according to CNN, as many as 90% of the boards imported into Britain since October have been seized, mostly due to faulty plugs and mostly bought online. Here at home, not have been issued yet, but officials urge consumers to look on the product and make sure it has that federal inspection sticker. I'm Christina Pascucci, reporting live from Santa Monica.